Hello guys, Ox Deer, and welcome back Alex. to Oxen Free. Alex! Eleven PM. Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You alright? I think so. I don't know. God. Do I look alright? You look alive, I guess. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station, or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and, like, I feel like my fingernails are going to shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Ooh. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. I doubt it. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like... What just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. <laughs> hmm. Let's... Uh... Well, I have a radio, so this should be easy to do, right? It's closed, yeah. It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, it's a pick locker. Uh, what are you even doing? Just have a little faith. I'll take a look at the view. I can see the cave, but not Ren or See? Anybody. What do you think happened to them? Yeah, you're welcome. Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. How great. It's creepy. I want to know what happened. Ah! Jesus! I think we're in a different dimension. Hello? Alex? Alex? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like just the. Why? W How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No. Like I said, I must have like passed out, or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait. I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something. Or Wait, they do Ren. Someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering oh. this? It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? Uh -huh. I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay, I just want to get out of here. Nobody wants to stay, Clarissa, but you know that the radio works? Yeah, how the hell do you think I called you guys? I just can't... There's like a way or something to connect outside, but I'm not good with this stuff. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... Oh. And it dies, ladies and... Ren, are you still there? No. Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. 
So want to be nice to both to first. See about that radio. I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren, Ren needs us more, and he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Yeah. Sound logic. All right. Let's figure out how to turn off this electrified fence. Kickstart this rescue mission like the uh, total badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. Warning: Do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. Well, you know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting. Really, you know, normally. Thanks. I guess. What? Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The no. light turned off. I trust you to like not hurt me on purpose or anything, but you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> well, he's true. Is um, is anyone there? Oh my, what the fuck? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Let's try to call someone again. No, it's, the line is dead. This is creepy as fuck. But it's interesting. I, are they really forcing me to just like... Uh, so I have to jump the fence, go to the left. Yeah. Seems about right. Like Clarissa is already at the location where we're supposed to go. So if you get him Maybe everyone will be alive? Wait, where is the other girl? This is awkward. But it seems like Ren is her best friend, so... Harden Tower. Couldn't have named it anything else, huh? Oh, Hardened Tower? What the f- <laughs> Well, yes, well. Yes, well. Come on. Join us. Let's go. I like the music as well. Uh, I'm alive. Sort of Good. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? <sighs> uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. Oh. They are. Good. Uh, Tawi Woods. Wait, we're not going to... Tawi Or wait, we are, actually. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and... I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. This is, like, only the front door. Just wait. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do... Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow. Yeah? And what's your point? That you'd be better off having a horse? 
When I got tired, you... <gasps> Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another... There's like another way down here. I can't believe you even made it. You know, this whole place really huh. creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. Oh, yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half... Hmm. Half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger... The bridge stand. Yes. And then I'm gonna go with the lift to the campsite. Or what? How do I get up there? I'm not sure if I understand how to get up there, to be honest. ...of whatever's happening right now. But anyways, guys, this will be the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next one.